Hey, what's going on? So, um, yeah, it's it's been a little bit since I last released a proper Let's Play on my YouTube channel. There were a couple of extra videos testing the waters of a 3DS capture board that I got. But, I'm, I, I, it, this is so hard for me to say because I've been going through a lot. And I'm, I just feel so mentally drained at where I am in my life right now. Like, uh, at the time that this video is going up, I had just turned 30. I finally hit the big 3-0. And I just don't feel like I'm in a really good spot in my life right now. So you might be wondering, uh, just because I'm so tight-lipped about certain matters like you know I never say anything about anything specific about work I didn't even say the name of the place that I'm working at all you guys know is that I work at a casino as far as my job goes that's been going smoothly I have been working at this casino for a little over four years at the time of this video and I also had a, uh, a savings plan where I have a separate savings stash which is my main savings account that I opened up with my checking account when I was 18 and an emergency funds account that I've been building up slowly but surely over time. So that's been going smoothly as well. So you might be wondering, so how exactly do I not feel like I'm in the right place? <clears throat> well, it mainly has to do with my, my personal life outside of work namely my social situations and losing weight like if you guys remember daniel from battletoads 2020 uh he's the only friend that i have to talk with and hang out with in real life yes i do have cypher Stake 89 and a couple other people that i knew from high school online but i just never felt that exclusively having online chats was the same as physically hanging out and just doing stuff like even with Daniel it's frustrating to me because we can't really play video games together Daniel and I because he hasn't heard of the literal hundreds of games that I've played and one time I tried teaching him and Snake a game that I knew well Kirby Air Ride more specifically and let's just say I've never been a good teacher there's a reason why I've never considered working at a school district as a potential career path. And I I, I, I don't know. I, I don't like, like heavy discussions like this, but I feel like I need to get this out there, especially since there haven't been updates, considering that I just got a 3DS capture board, one be just became available, and I was more than excited to get started at Kirby Triple Deluxe as my first 3DS Let's Play. But now all of a sudden I just haven't been in the right frame of mind to do that. Because I don't want my creator breakdown to show in that game. Much less my very first full Let's Play of a 3DS game. After waiting like 5 years or something. Excuse me. It's a bit of a long story. Like... If you know about the Nintendo Creators Program, uh, something should click immediately. And if you don't, go look it up. It's this whole train wreck of a situation that prevented me from getting back into YouTube for a long time. But that's a story for another time. So, I've never had really had a social group to do stuff with. and Nor have I ever had a girlfriend. Like, I've literally never had a relationship. I'm 30 years old and never had a relationship. Like, is that not a red flag to some people? Like, it's just like, if I tell a woman that, what would she think of me? Literally, literally never having had a relationship. Not in high school, not in my 20s, never. And I'm, I'm so disheartened because at different points in my life, I briefly had at least a chance of both a social group and a girlfriend. And they were, they were all taken away through outside circumstances. Shortly when the pandemic, shortly after the pandemic got started, I, Daniel was able to meet up with me through my folks running into his. 
and he did introduce me to two of his friends but I eventually found out that they're sore losers in the games that they play and I didn't want to hang out with them anymore I didn't want to hang out with them anymore so I just stopped talking to them and in the almost 10 years that I've been doing online dating I have only ever had one meetup and that was taken away because of my autism the short story is her ex-boyfriend also had autism he was in a worse much worse mental state that I was in at the time and I guess she made a mental connection and thought I was gonna end up like him so she just ghosted me and as you can imagine or as you can tell by this discussion that I'm having right now I haven't gotten that lucky since. I've gotten at least messages, but not a single one of those led to a meetup. And, you know, online dating and friend fighting apps require a subscription service. And at the end of the day, I just feel like both are a waste of money. Because I don't want a long distance relationship. I don't even want long distance friendship. Like, I honest to God don't have too many interests besides video games and the internet. Yes, I did start drawing in October 2022, but that's specifically for my uh, other piece of online content that I'm working on my webcomic. That will get its own discussion video on Instagram because it pertains to those services. And, like, I haven't even had the energy to just draw. I have no more back comics and it's just so hard for me to keep up with all this like I mentioned that there was another part of my personal life that I was having issues with too and that's losing weight and it's like I, I do have my reasons uh, really powerful reasons for losing weight and for some reason I just can't bring myself to diet and I, I feel like it mainly has to do with my lack of patience because it's like I want it immediately. I don't want to eat like severely restrictive diety, like say a keto diet for like two years. And for those who don't know, if you're trying to lose weight, it's recommended that you lose one to two pounds a month. And I see something like that and my brain goes, oh my God, that that's not shit. You know, frankly speaking. Like, as of the time of this video, I'm now hovering around 300 pounds. And I thought I just returned to the evening shift because the day shift was giving me issues for a bit of a personal reason. So, the webcomic spawned from a little written project that I've been working on for the past five years. And for reasons that I, I can't explain in the video, I, it suddenly became... It, it was... It suddenly became way harder to work on my writing project on the day shift. I can't explain why exactly. But just... No, the, the best answer that I can give is that my writing project entered development hell on the day shift. And returning to swing shift did at least make that much easier. But... It, it just made everything else way harder. Like, if I wanted to exercise, then I can't work on my online content. If I want to work on my online content, I can't exercise. The casino that I work at does have a gym, but on the evening shift, the parking situation is terrible. And it's like, I don't want to walk like 100 feet away after walking up two flights of stairs I don't know I really wish I could better explain what exactly is going on like say with a picture of the parking lot but I just can't do that I'm sorry I can only give vague details because I'm not about to uh, talk about uh, my work situations only to lose my job like I was unemployed for two years and what I'm going through right now, <clears throat> it, it just it feels like nothing. I was unemployed for two years before getting this job at the casino in 2000, June 2019. 
and I don't want to go through that again. <clears throat> so, you're probably wondering, what exactly am I going to do now? Well, I talked to my folks about this, and my mom is having me, funny enough, go on this restrictive diet and forcing me to get on the treadmill before work every day. So, I hate to say it, but in order to focus fully on this healing process, I need to take an extended hiatus from recording YouTube videos. I'm, I'm sorry, I really wish I could figure out how to actually work on my online content and get an exercise simultaneously, but the way it stands right now, with my mom having seen a completely different version of my attitude in the day shift, it's just impossible. Like, I really feel like the day shift would make managing my online content and getting exercise in a lot easier. It's just, I wish I didn't realize that only after I switched back to the evening shift. And, you know, one day I will be finished with my writing project. And at that point, what's going to be the issue then? I won't have anything to worry about by then. But it's still going to be a little bit before I finish. Maybe another year and a half or so. I don't know. So, I've, I've just been going through a lot, feeling like I haven't really accomplished much of anything. Like, I have no social group, I have no relationship, I, I didn't even have extended family. Like, my, my extended family just consists of a lot of insane people, and I don't even have that. All I really have is Daniel in real life, and that's basically it. <clears throat> So, if, if I can remember this, I would like to take advantage of the community feature to show, actually showcase my healing process. Like, to prove that I actually am giving this an honest attempt. But I really do think my lack of life experience is really holding me back from trying to make friends, even because I don't really have anything to talk about like the last time I went on an airplane for example was when I was two years old so I couldn't tell you what it what, it, what I felt I couldn't tell you what it felt like being on an airplane like like really I have no stories to share how am I supposed to make friends and Daniel has chastised me for not going the online route but Back in 2013, I had nothing to talk about. Right now, I have nothing to talk about. I feel like I'm having a hard time keeping this discussion going. <sighs> but yeah, I just uh, wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be taking an extended hiatus for recording YouTube videos. I really thought the EV shift would be, uh, would be easier again. But... It's really only worked in making my writing project easier. As far as everything else, I can't keep up. I'm just so mentally drained with everything that I've been trying, and it's just been, it's ultimately been a waste of time and a waste of money. Especially a waste of money. Well, uh, I guess that'll do it for this discussion, huh? I don't know when I'm going to be back to YouTube, but just uh, keep an eye on the discussion tab, okay? Hopefully uh, I'll see you guys uh, through that. Take care of yourselves.